<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, December 4th, 2022. Week 208. Crazy, crazy. crazy. Yesterday was a busy day, uh, so we're a day late, dollar short. What else to do? <laughs> Still got a little bit of a throat thing going on. Yeah. This is lingering, I think, for both of us. What it's, is this, third week? All right. Yeah, I think it's just like week three now. <laughs> yeah, we went to the doctor, got steroids and medicines and looked at and listened to and basically just said it'll take two, three weeks. Yep. And I guess they're right because it still hasn't gone away. But feel okay. Yeah. Yeah. I slept the whole night without a cough drop in my mouth. Well, that's a positive that's a feat i don't like pot i can't do cough drops i have to take a sip of water but yeah i can't do the cough drop thing i'm too uncoordinated i'll choke on it <laughs> something so let's see <laughs> last week i was 339 and i was down i think three or four wasn't i yeah i think so and then um our power just went out in the house well, that's nice it sure did sure did <laughs> oh. you never know now you're gonna hear a bunch of beeps and a bunch of squeals because a lot of things are on the internet and whatnot. But my computer and just your computer restarted. Just died. Um, okay. Somebody's not happy with us doing this update today. <laughs> so anyway, I was uh, three thirty nine, which I think I was down four at that point, and I'm down another two to three thirty seven. So yeah. on a good track. I mean, every week I've lost a little bit. Got a good appetite, so I'm really not sure, but I'll take it. It's all pretty basic stuff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So again, you're gonna hear some weirdness because the power's out. Our generator will kick in eventually, but it just takes kicked down. That's why. Oh, it takes about a minute or so. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, so that's goodness. where I'm at. Where are you at? Yeah. Um. You were 160, 159 last week. Yep. Yeah. You had dropped like six pounds, which was yeah, out of nowhere. Six yeah, I wasn't feeling well, and it just really didn't have an appetite. And um, this morning, I woke up, and I weighed in at 163. Um, so some correction to the six down. Yeah, came back up it's, a it's been, my body's just been really super weird. I don't know. You never know what's going on with your female stuff. I, One day, you think everything's good, and you go to work, and then you... Text me and I get a lot of bad words and something else started up. <laughs> well, I've been like four weeks late and then, you know, a cycle that's two normally into it. three or four days. And mm -hmm. last time it was like 12 days. And then I was like, great. We went on vacation and like seven days later I started again. I'm like, I, okay. I mean, I, I don't I don't know. Can you plan anything? You just have to no. have everything you need with you. Literally in my pocket because I just have no idea. What your body's trying to do. What it is doing. I don't know. It's frustrating. I keep thinking I'm nearing the end, but it hasn't happened yet. It's only just begun. <sighs> I get some carpenters in here, you know. It's early <laughs> in the morning. Don't make me laugh. Don't make you laugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so that's that. For whatever reason, I mean, I have not lost my appetite or anything. I, I actually want a pot roast. So maybe just a cheap piece of meat, throw some pot roast, huh? some veggies in there, some carrots and celery and stuff. And actually, that sounds kind of good. Just, just sit there and, I don't know, maybe it's the cooler weather now. I'm not sure. Hmm. I haven't got the crock pot out in a long time. How long does a pot roast take to make? Yeah, a couple hours. Oh. On high, if you do like six on high. Or okay. Four on high, maybe. Yeah. I can tell I don't do most of the cooking. No, no, normally I do that in the morning and then put it on low and then it's totally ready by dinner time. Maybe so. I go to the store tonight and yeah, then you, you see do it for Monday. Oh, do you guys I think have I'm Monday. like a cheap roast at Costco? I don't even know. Uh, or or the bits, you know, the little pieces that are chopped up. Yeah. Yeah, chuck know. roast, something just... I'll find yeah, I, I say cheap, but you know what I mean. Inexpensive versus steak. relatively right, and then you just put them in there with some uh, some stock. Some yeah. I'll have to see what I got, but uh, yeah, just it's so simple. You make me a list tonight, and I'll go to the store, and then so tomorrow simple. you make me dinner. Sounds like a plan. Good yeah, deal I'm just trying me. to plan out some things <laughs> that you know through the week to eat and have to eat. I used to like because I'm not a big meat eater. But every now and again, when my mom would make pot roast, I never really ate it the first time around. Um, but I did like it when she would put a little bit of butter in the pan and strip up the pot roast and then fry it in a little bit of butter. 
Okay. That's, that's what I liked. I didn't really eat it the first time around, so, but I ate it the second time around. So what? She made like a gravy or something then? No. She just took the pot roast and then put a little took bit of butter in the pan. Of the pot roast. Yeah. Put some butter in a pan and then fried the meat. Yeah, she should there? like shred it and then do the, cook up the meat in the in the butter. I'm not doing that. But I will do it. Myself. You can do it yourself. <laughs> then you know, kind of takes away from what a pot roast is to me, but well, you just I'm like not, butter. I'm Butter's not, not bad for you. Some carry gold. We gotta get that on the list too. Oh, okay. Put Thankfully, it on the Costco still sells it, right? We do. Okay, good. We have a Costco version of the carry gold too. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, but, really? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we look at the labels or something, just in general. I know carry gold's good to me for eggs and stuff. It tastes better too. Yeah. It's got a different, whole different vibe. <laughs> it's kind of like I never thought organic eggs and regular eggs tasted different. Till one week we weren't getting the organic eggs and we just got like Walmart regular eggs. And just every day I was like, man, my eggs taste like junk. They just don't taste good. And then I realized when we got the other eggs back, that was it. Don't know why. <laughs> just thought it was the weirdest thing. If I close at Costco and I don't get back to the dairy cooler quick enough, they, at night when we're stocking, they'll put pallets of other cold stuff in there and so you can't get to the regular stuff so if I don't get it quick enough then mm. we don't get to get eggs at Costco. Yeah, but they last for weeks. I mean, they you do. know, you get the big old, what is that, at least two dozen, right? Mm -hmm. At a time. Yeah. That'll last me probably two weeks. Depends on how many other eggs I make for other kids and stuff. All these beeping noises are driving well, me crazy. Well, yeah, every clock is off, every <laughs> sensor is off, so apologize for all the beeps. It's no smoke alarms. <laughs> Actually, we just bought smoke uh, alarms. Yeah. Yeah. Our smoke alarms all died. So now we bought a three pack that's all tied in together. So if one goes off, the others go off and you hear them all. And that's a, that's a problem because Stacy can't hear the one upstairs if the, the one, one downstairs goes off. Yeah. Last night, there were a couple, I said like last night, but uh, last week it went off downstairs in the basement and both of them were going off. And I didn't hear it. Now, we have smoke and carbon monoxide right. built into one. So um, I wanted to continue to have that because you just want to be able to tell if there's a carbon monoxide issue. Right. So I'm thinking this alarm's going off. You know, you go check around the rest of the house. I have a small carbon monoxide detector. I thought maybe let me pull that in the house. Then I realized, reading the back of it, it's eight years old. It's got a, eight to, a seven to ten year battery, and it's eight years old. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure this one's just bad. But at two thirty in the morning, kind of scares you just a bit. And it has a chirp code. There's three three long chirps, and I look up first alert, three long chirps, battery. <laughs> so I ordered uh, set up on Amazon. Very nice little three wired set. They're all integrated to each other. Not wired, but you know, linked linked together. So we can put three of them around the house, upstairs, downstairs. And when, more importantly, when, like, downstairs goes off, I'll hear it upstairs. You didn't hear any of Hopefully that. Hopefully, I'll hear it up here. Yeah, you I'm will. I'm sure I will, but... You'll be able to sleep better knowing that when you hear the alarm go off, now they'll just freak out as to where it's coming from. But there is a way that <laughs> it says it on the front. There's the little name, and it lights up. The one that is actually triggered will light up and flash. So uh, if you walk around, you look up, and the light's not flashing, and you go to the next one, that one's flashing... That's where you got your code from. Yeah. Smoke or carbon monoxide. Our oldest daughter, whose room is in the basement, I was talking to her the next one. She goes, Mom, you didn't hear that? I said, I didn't hear it. I, w I heard it. I woke up and <sighs> I was going to the bathroom because I had to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to hunt around the house to find out what's beeping. It was downstairs. But yeah, so, so at least it did wake me up. I would have woke up. Yeah. That's why but, I don't sleep if Bill's not with me and... God forbid. Well, you take those hearing aids out, when, you don't hear nothing. Yeah, when he left and he was in, went to Colorado to visit a friend, um, I was here with my youngest daughter, who has perfectly good hearing, but that kind of stuff doesn't alert yeah. her, I guess. Oh, um, I went to see my sister in Colorado. Yeah. And I went to go see my friend in Wyoming. Because I was when you said that, it passed yeah. right by, but I'm like, what are you? Talking about, yeah. yeah. No, I, that's been a couple of years ago. You yeah, had trouble, huh? 
and I, I I wasn't sleeping. I was exhausted, and uh, I called my oldest daughter, who was at college, and I said, "Will you please come home for a long weekend?" And she's like, "Why?" I said, "I'm exhausted and I can't sleep." And she's like, "Why, mom?" And I said, "Because I feel like if I go to sleep, I won't hear if something happened." I won't hear if somebody tries to break in the house. I won't hear if a smoke alarm comes off. And last night was a perfect example. When she came home, I slept wonderfully because I knew somebody else would be there and wake up if they heard anything. Now, in the old layout here, we had one upstairs and we have one downstairs. One downstairs failed, the one upstairs is going to fail any moment, you know? Right. So those will come down. But what I was thinking was the one that's upstairs is right between the three bedrooms that are upstairs right next to our bedroom door. Right. So you're going to hear that as good as if it was in our bedroom. Yeah. So I think you'll be okay with that one. The third one, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll put it in the garage. We have a furnace out there, so it probably can't hurt Yeah. to have it in the garage. And then something happens out there. You hear it. You've got gasoline. you got other things out there and stuff. So, you know, if you yeah. catch it there fast enough, maybe you can contain it. I don't know. We'll see. But it yeah. Is what it is. Hopefully, um, we never have to use them. Just replace them. Exactly. Seems like the trend lately, too, is to give you a battery operated one that lasts for multiple years and then gives you a code when the battery fails. So mm. that's what we're in for again. So thanks I'll get, for taking care of it. <laughs> I'll get those done today for us. And uh, I guess still got to get all the patio furniture all taken apart and put away. Just up and down the deck stairs 60 times doesn't sound like fun to me. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at it as a workout. <laughs> Try and get an extra half pound off me today. Doing that, I don't know. That's what's make me laugh. But yeah, well, a pot roast sounds kind of good. So I'll throw some things on our little list. Yeah, and, um, I'll get it. Yeah, just, I don't know. I haven't had a lot of, uh, I haven't had a lot of chicken. We haven't had much chicken. There's a lot of things you can do with pot roast and chicken. Just so some... Chicken stock and, oh. well, it wouldn't be anything you eat because I'd be mostly thighs. Do have thighs and breasts and then you can have that dry breast stuff and I'll eat the real chicken. <laughs> I don't eat anything but thighs. I will eat the drumstick. It's dark meat too. Just a little more work. Give me the thighs. <laughs> I like them. Uh, yuck. Yeah, yuck. Yeah. So we got to get back into a habit. I don't know what my body's doing. We got to both get better and not. Not what? Be sick? You be mean? sick. Oh, yeah. Well, know. what can you do? Yeah. Got a little bit of a cough, got a little bit of a sore throat. <clears throat> um, drinking tons of water. That's good for me. This cold weather is killing my asthma already. I think in the last week or so, I've tried to make a few cups of coffee and they just go down the sink. They just, it's just not what my throat wants. Sounds stupid, but I don't have an answer as to why. Hmm. But I just don't seem to I'm want I'm so it. excited. This sounds so stupid. What does? So when we run the board at work, they move, they're doing some changes, and they move the coffee grinder right next to where we stand when we're running the board. People buy a lot of coffee, and they grind their coffee at Costco. And it stinks. Oh, I'm thinking it was throwing your hearing aids off. Oh, no. I, I'd rather deal with that, the smell of it. And yesterday, there was a lady who was like trying to waft the smell over to me. And I was like, oh, she goes, doesn't it smell good? I said, actually, I think I'm one of the only people that doesn't like the smell of coffee. She looked at me like I had four heads. And she goes, you don't like the smell of coffee? I said, no. She goes, well, what kind of co what do you do when you drink it? I said, I don't. She's like, ooh. She goes, I'm European. She goes, and that's like foreign to me. I said, yeah. And I said, like I said, I think I'm one of the only few people that uh, doesn't like uh, that we stand right next to the coffee grinder. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, I gave up. I didn't say I gave up. I really reduced probably 80% yeah. of the coffee about two months ago. Well, maybe even a little longer than that when we were trying to figure out some things in my heart. Mm -hmm. Didn't end up being part of it. Um, reducing some medicines, still trying to figure some things out. Got a weird racing heart lately. And yeah. um, and doctor and I talked a couple weeks ago. And what we've done is weaned down on one of the medicines I'm on. And I'm taking things out of my pill keeper because I have some over-the-counter stuff that I take. 
Right. He's like, let's just try and rule out all these things before we go any farther. Right. And uh, so far, I've got it down to a really, really, really basic pill keeper, mm-hmm. and I still haven't figured it out. So, I mean, my what if I wear my Apple Watch, mm-hmm. it just constantly just goes off. High mm-hmm. hurry, high hurry. It's frustrating. It's more frustrating than anything. So, yeah. I just don't even wear it. I haven't worn it in like two weeks. Yeah, Since mine was actually back. going normally. I, I had to turn my heart rate thing off because it kept going off saying low heart rate. Yeah. Especially at night when I would sleep. I'm like, ugh. You know, it goes off if it goes under, I think, 40 beats a minute. Yeah. And uh, mine would go off like <laughs> every half hour. So I, found, I had to turn it off because it kept waking me because I don't always hear an alarm. So I use the Too Apple Watch. Adjust it. Yeah. You know. Well, they're trying to tell you if there's something wrong. I know. So I use the Apple Watch for the vibration, and that's what wakes me up in the morning. That's how I how I get up for my alarm. But you had to turn and the low alarm off. So I had to turn the low alarm off because it would it would go off and it would wake me up. And I'm thinking it's time to get up. And I'm like, oh, it's just saying I have a low heart rate. And when I was sick, yeah. laying here on the on the couch next to Bill, just trying to relax, my heart it was the opposite was going off, saying that my heart rate was 138 beats a minute. Which is so odd for me. Um, so yeah, I think it just. Then you're cold and you're hot. No, it's all part yeah. of the flu, you know. Yep. So I'll be glad when this is. We can kick it to the curb and. <laughs> yeah, get some pot roast in us. All right, Put I'll some do that. Meat on the bones. Tomorrow I work ten to six thirty, so you can make me dinner and have it when I get home. I have no problem with that. Perfect. Just, we gotta get all the stuff. It's a deal. I haven't really felt like. Um, I haven't really Perfect. felt like. Going grocery shopping or doing much like that. I've I'll got it. like tomorrow is going to start picking up Julia after band, food choir and stuff. Oh, that's right. And I'm just I'm just not in the mood so much. Even though I got a nice vehicle to drive now, I got a brand new. Well, it's brand new to me, brand yeah. new to us. Yeah, we got a big old Dodge Ram 1500 pickup truck. Hemi. I, with a Hemi in it. <laughs> yes, that's the most important part, right? No, that, that it's ended a beautiful up, truck. Oh, it's a really great truck. I, mean, I drove it from out in Madison Heights or whatever to here. That's all I've driven it. Yeah, so. I haven't driven it yet. Um, I'll have to try that this week. Yeah, we just picked that up from, um, actually it was your uncle's old truck. He, yeah. He had recently passed, and of course his wife was not into that driving that big monstrous truck, I mean, the thing is enormous. Even when I get into it and I sit down, I'm above everybody except for semi trucks. It's a big truck, <laughs> but I drove like a dream, yeah. And I like it, and I like the fact that I can haul a bunch of junk home with it because it's got that bed on it. I could tow stuff with it, we could tow a camper. Still never happened, no, yeah, maybe we'll see. But I gotta get going because yeah, I so have am to out get of more. gas. Oh, yeah, I get some gas today. Yeah, I kept. I was thinking I was going to get it last night after the bar mitzvah, and uh, I just wanted to get home. Yeah, we had another kid. We had a bar mitzvah last night for him. <laughs> no, she was doing body art. Yeah, it was kind of cool. His name was Shia. Yeah. He was Shia playing guitar, Lekain. too. Huh? He was playing guitar, too. Yes, he was. It was a rock and roll theme, which was really cool. Kind of fun. Um, so I did a lot of ACDC and KISS. Um, tattoos last night and, and lots stuff. of black leather. Um, all the kids wore, not that they knew probably who most of them were, but a lot of kids wore um, the old style shirts. The music was great. They had a DJ there, so the music was great. It was all the music that we listened to growing up, yeah. which was pretty cool instead of, you know, I guess the newer hip hop type of music for the kids. Um, I think the music was definitely geared towards the adults, but it sure. sounded like he did a solo there. Um, he opened up his party with a guitar solo. Um, yeah, but neat. yeah, so it was kind of neat. It was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And if they're paying for it, why not listen to the music they want to listen to? I got, oh, you got a little, well, it's upside down. It's upside down. And it's a heart. There you go. Just <laughs> bend your arm like that. And there you go. It's sort of twisted now. Because yeah. Yeah. That is a little cute heart. Yeah. So. Those are the best tattoos. No regrets. Exactly. Take them off a couple days later. No regrets. No regrets. <laughs> oh, you'd have done better to do that. Show it like that. Well, here, watch. Ah, this is her segue of getting out of here.
How's that? She's like, I'm going to, oh yeah, that's very pretty. That's better. That's better. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, um, hope you all have a great week. Um, maybe throw in the comments something that sounds good to you to make for this winter for uh, keto and everything. Um, definitely wanting a, a, a pot roast. I don't know why. That's what we'll have really tomorrow good. night. Meat. I want meat. Yeah. I'm a carnivore. Tried that for a while. Very. <laughs> I don't have any trouble with keto. I'm just so used to what I should or shouldn't eat. That's simple. Carnivore was challenging for me. Uh, yeah, I tried it. Mm. I really tried, and I'd say I was maybe three, four weeks in, and I realized I'm just not disciplined enough. I had to get back into my fasting and my intermittent fasting. Yeah, I, I liked when I was doing that, and I just don't feel like mentally that I'm prepared for it. I have to go read my diabetes code and things like that, and get psyched Dr. up Fung. for it. Put Doctor Fung's picture on the refrigerator. Yeah, what's that first rule? Don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get out the phone shop and just make a Dr. Fung photo and put, don't eat fatty. <clears throat> What's that one guy's name? Cole something? Cole. The one uh, that screams all the time. Hey, fatty. Yeah, I should watch some of him. And then I'll say, well, yeah, you know what? He's right. I'm fat. So I got to stop eating. I wonder if he's still on YouTube. I'm sure he is. But I got to go. All right. Anyway, <laughs> everybody have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. We'll see you. Bye.